Okay, guys, economics is not studied at GCSE in Wales, so the course will be new to everyone. Um, students often ask me, um, what is economics? Well, economics is split up into microeconomics and macroeconomics. If we take the microeconomics first, imagine you're one of a uh, hundred people stranded on a desert island. You'll have to consider what to produce to survive. Um, and to begin with, it might be things like fish and uh, shelters. But three basic economic questions arise. Well, number one is how many fish should we catch for 100 people and what types of fish? Um, what types of shelter should we produce and again, how many? And the second question will be how will we ensure efficiency in the catching of the fish or the production of shelters? After all, we don't want five people building a shelter when it can be done just as quickly with three people. And then finally, once the fish are caught or the shelters have been built, how can we share them in a way that seems fair? These are the three basic economic questions, what to produce, how to produce, and whom to produce for. Our chosen method is called the market uh, method or the free market method. And we will explore during the microeconomics course how the forces of demand and supply can help to answer those three basic economic questions. We'll have lots and lots of fun with demand and supply diagrams. However, markets are not perfect. And we may need to intervene in a free market where harmful products, such as tobacco or alcohol, are produced, or markets where lots of pollution are caused. In macroeconomics, we consider why some countries have got a better standard of living than others. So why is it that the Danish or the Americans seem to have a better standard of living, of, uh, better standard of living than us? Or why is it that we now have a better standard of living than we did in the 1950s on this diagram, for example, on this picture, for example? So we study economic growth and we study other big issues, such as unemployment and inflation in the macroeconomic side of the course. Um, what will doing economics, uh, what will economics do for you? Um, well, it should develop some skills. Uh, we'll have skills of analysis and evaluation, and those two skills should make better decision-making for you. There is quite a bit of written work, and hence we have a requirement for a grade B in English. There are some numerical aspects. People often think that economics is full of um, mathematics. It gets more so at degree level, but um, at A level, a grade C in mathematics should be sufficient. What does it lead on to? Well, I've mentioned economics degrees, uh, and they are very popular at university, and economics graduates are much sought after in the jobs market. Now, of course, this is only supposed to be a two, three minute uh, introduction. If you want to find more details, you can by looking at WJC Economics. OK, put that into a Google search. Uh, but there's absolutely loads of stuff on the Internet to go off and look at. Try to look at A-level courses or AS courses and find out what sort of topics that you would be studying. And of course, when we are back to some normality, then you can come and see me, Mr. Jones. Um, to discuss this further. Okay, thank you.